Here I have a 2014 Tundra. It runs great. And I had uh, some problems with the canister oil filter deal. The first one was plastic and it eventually cracked. I replaced it with the aluminum one. And I just recently had another problem. I got approximately 75,000 miles on my 2014 Tundra. I don't drive it a lot. And um, I will show you some things about it. So I decided to go with the Baxter Performance Spin-On Adapter. This here eliminates the spin-on adapter. So let's check it out. Right here, just got it out of the package. That's all. This spring loaded goes up and seals, drain through holes. Then your, this is a three quarter by 16 thread, which will take the 5151 6XP for synthetic oil. So I also run the AMS oil boosted 020 in my Tundra. You can get that at usa1racingoil.com, usa1racingoil.com. You can contact me. I can sign you up as a preferred customer. You can buy at near wholesale prices. So one thing about this Tundra, it has the skid plate underneath. So I had marked the five spots where I have to take the 12 millimeter bolts out, so I, or, or 12 millimeter socket. So I have them, and that you can do with a nice little D-wall. These, these small um, areas here is for the front bumper to, to attach to. Now I had had to take and silicone these in so they wouldn't fall out anymore. I was having trouble with them falling out. So I silicone them in, they stay in now, and they just take these little plastic screws and you put them in easy, don't over tighten them. So I have everything marked on here because when I get underneath, I need a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and a 14 millimeter um, for the uh, oil pan bolt to drain it. So this is what you need. Also, I have written here slide to remove. So I got an arrow. Once this is in place, I have to slide it off to take it out. Same thing, I put it in, I slide it over to put it in. These holes here are actually, so you can see in when you're putting this bolt in, you can actually look in there. That's what them are for. Anyway, that's not a bad deal. The instructions for the Baxter Performance is, you gotta use this adapter and it'll, it makes the whole thing about one inch longer. Um, I have plenty of room in my Tundra. So we're going to remove this whole cartridge and anything else that goes with it. When we put it in, we're going to push this in up, up in there. It's got pressure. It's got O-ring and you're going to turn it, of course, clockwise, fully engaged. And then you're going to take the one inch deep well socket and torque it to 40 foot pounds. So, and like I said, the oil filter is a three quarters thread by 16, and this 5151.6 XP works great. Um, so let's go ahead underneath. So one of the problems, the reason why I'm switching this is this cover, this screw here broke on me, and I was dripping oil when I was on a, 600 mile trip and I was lucky to get it all back 
So we're going to go underneath. We're going to go underneath and we're going to look at this and see how to get the canister off and then put the new Baxter Performance spin-on adapter. So from now on, it'll only be the spin-on filters. Get rid of all this hassle. So when I do my, let's get this tripod set up. So when I do my oil changes with the canister, you take that plug off, you take this plug off, that goes right up there. It broke off. The threads are sticking in there. There's an O-ring in there. And you take this whole tool. This here is what I made to drain the canister oil without making a mess. But this whole thing is just ridiculous. Too many parts, too many everything. Let's see if I can get that plug out to drain what's in the filter. If not... We're going to make a little bigger mess. Don't know if you can see it. Right there. Okay, so. This might not come out right there. Oh, okay. This part will come out. This little part broke on me. And this whole thing with this O-ring, that's part of the problem too. Bad design. We're going to take that whole canister off after we drain the oil that's in the canister here come the nipple comes with your kit i made a deal before and you push it in and you screw it up whatever's in that filter will drain some of it's already been dripping but not a lot i was on a trip what from Iowa to Oklahoma and this thing was dripping a small drip the whole trip it only lost about a half a quart the whole way but still it could have been disastrous because of this canister having about at least six parts to it there's two o-rings there's a spring there's a clip there's a tube just too many problems Make it simple, put a spin-on filter, and that's what Baxter Performance is doing. Okay, so we're going to wait for that to get out, and then we're going to take it off. And um, we're going to be able to get all this situated and have a lot better oil, um, oil filter system. Baxter Performance has all kinds of upgrades that they use for the Jeep. The Jeep Pinstar has a problem because the oil filter is on top of the engine and all of the oil drips down. So every time you restart the Jeep, you, you're restarting without oil pressure. And so they made a adapter that keeps the oil in the oil filter. So whenever you start up the Jeep, it's got instant oil pressure. So I recommend it. Check it out on Baxter Performance. Check out the website. This is not a this is not a paid advertisement for Baxter. It's just that I'm gonna find out and uh and I'll let you know how everything is. So that's drained out pretty good. It goes a little slow, but it's still coming. So we'll let that drain a little bit. I'll show you again the oil that I'm going to use. I use this AMS oil. 
XL. This will go one year and 12,000 miles. Now they have a signature series that goes 25,000 miles. Um, they have the hybrid oil that I use in my RAV4. And uh, I highly recommend the Amsoil brand. You can also buy that from me. I am an independent dealer. You can look that up at USA1RacingOil.com for all your vehicle needs. They have also commercial blend oil. So check out all the new stuff that they have. All right. Let's take this off. Take this canister off. So, to show you this canister, you guys that do this all the time, you're aware of this. But inside here, so there's an O-ring on the bottom, O-ring there, that's a part. Some of these are, filters are built different. Some come with an O-ring on top and bottom. There's this tube that has to be inside this. There is a spring-loaded mechanism in there also you go to the oil change guy and they don't put that in right i don't think any of this stuff is going to work good it's just leaves for problems when you have a spin-on filter it's so simple that anybody can do the oil change on that without screwing it up usually so this here is a problem the plastic one that came with this cracked this is an aftermarket aluminum one and or cast steel here. But anyway, it's just not a good design. So I am updating it with the Baxter Performance Spin-On Adapter. And now I will go up there. So, hopefully I can show you what that looks like. Okay, get up in here closer. Where are you at? Okay. So that tube on the new Baxter deal fits all the way up tight. It's got an O-ring, so then the oil will come through there. So I'll finish cleaning that all up. Okay. Everything looks good. Everything looks clean. I don't have any retaining ring um, keeper. Sometimes these come with an extra clip on the outside. And right now I'm just wiping the outside here. Make sure that all that stuff is Got plenty of room here. Good to go. I'm going to go get the adapter and we will get all that.
I'm going to coat this O-ring with a little bit of oil. This is the Baxter Performance. This is the 601 for the Tundra. So I have the 5.7 big engine in the Tundra, and this takes the 601 when you, when you look it up online. Got an O-ring there. I'm gonna put a little oil around that. One inch deep well socket. I'm gonna tighten it up. And then we're gonna do 40 foot pounds. So it's going in really good there. I felt it stop. Okay. So now I got my torque wrench set to 40 foot pounds. I'm gonna have to put the extension on. Spin on filter. We're going to put the uh, Wix fifty one fifty one six XP. I'm going to fill that up with some oil. Always like to put the oil in the filter and let it sit and let it soak up. When you pour that in, you can fill it up. It will soak in. You put a little bit of oil on the O-ring. Whenever you do your oil changes with the spin-on filters, you have to make sure that the old o-ring came in came back with the old filter never have a two stacks of oil of oil oil rings there. so put a little more oil in it's soaked in halfway We don't want to start the engine with the filter empty. You'll run too long without oil pressure. Okay, so now let's get this back in action here. Check my outside ceiling surface right there, which is this right there. Okay. That 
that went on a full turn. And that's snug. That's very good. Okay. Now, that eliminated a whole bunch of stuff. All I gotta do is put this back on and everything should be good. So, check out the Baxter Performance spin-on adapter. It gets rid of the old cartridge deal and should make everything easier. So, we're gonna see how it all works. Be check it out. Check out Good Guys Winning. And don't forget to go to USA1RacingOil.com and check out my independent AMSOIL website for all your vehicle needs. And we also have really good car shampoo and interior detail, scented or unscented. So check out all their new products at USA1RacingOil.com. Good guys winning. Thank you.